five things that bother me to a degree. Okay, so I really hate going to the dentist. And the hygienist is cleaning my teeth, you know? And they're asking me questions. It's like, what the heck? Because it's like... So, how's your day? Uh, la, 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 la. Oh, that's so cool. Ah, uh, it's like, no, no, no. I don't like it. Because I feel like they're going to stab me in the mouth and it, I'm going to start bleeding and all my teeth have to be gone. Uh, I don't know. But it's just, no, I don't like that. It's just weird. No offense, but I think it's so weird. Because I don't need to feel uncomfortable while someone's fingers are in my mouth cleaning. And, like, how can they understand what I'm saying? Ugh. That was one. Two. Second thing that bothers me the most is people who are high and trying to flirt with me. It's like, no. Like, one time I was in the bus, and this guy walked in front of me because I was standing to get off the bus. He walked in front of me. He's like, hey, I like, you're so pretty. Mm. For me, that's not the way to, for first impressions. Like, howdy doody. It's like, no. First thing is that guys should not flirt with me the first time they meet me. It's like, no, no. <laughs> That's not how it works. And so it's just like, people who are on drugs are stupid for that. It's just not, in general, they're not stupid, but choosing to do drugs is stupid. No offense. Okay, number three, I hate drama. It bothers the living crap out of me. Because drama, like, especially in school or co-workers or whatever, is like, I don't need this. Like, people are talking things behind my back, and there's drama, and I'm like, oh my gosh, what's going on? And it's like, this whole big deal is like, no! I have to be in it sometimes. I don't think I've ever started it, but it's just, in general, I hate drama. Because it's stressful, it's like, gossiping, it's just like, everything all at once. It's not necessary, I don't think, especially in high school, especially when I was in high school. It was insane, it's insane, I don't like it. Number four, another thing that bothers me is when, it's just when I see little kids. I mean, uh, kids are fine and stuff, but why are kids like who are two or three are wearing skinny jeans? Really? Really? Oh. That does not mean they should wear dresses and have their hair up and, no. <laughs> it's just like normal, just wear normal clothes, but then I don't want to be... But that sounds rude, too. But I don't know. It's just, maybe it's more funny than it bothers me. <laughs> Lastly, fifth thing that bothers me the most is when people think they can be so swag and stuff. I mean, yeah, it's fine, but <laughs> sometimes it's kind of ridiculous because people have their pants really low and they're like, Ey! and they have this, like, stance to themselves that they're, like, driving a car and they're like, oh, baby, or whatever, but they're like, Hey, what's poppin'? <laughs> I see it all the time. It's like, really? Does that really make you cool? I mean, if you think it's fine, yeah. I am not trying to say any of these things to be rude or whatever, but these are just what bothers me to a degree. It's not like I'm going to call you. I'm like, hey, stop looking. Or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It just bothers me. I don't... It's just weird. I think it's funny. How people are like that, but it's not like I'm going to call them out. But it's still like, really? Really? Oh, whatever. Because I think anything with your clothes, your pants really low is funny. Like, I just want to pants them because it'll be so easy. And I know it's really weird and stupid to think about or whatever, but that's what I thought. <laughs> thought about <laughs> but yeah that's like my spiel my five things that bother me update so today is Thursday you guys Woo! Thursday tomorrow's Friday do, 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 do. yeah <laughs> anyway so guys I have an update to tell you I'm getting a tattoo tomorrow I know crazy right <laughs> Yeah, as you guys have seen, I've gained a lot of piercings and losing those piercings. Like, I used to have a piercing right here, but I don't think you guys knew about that, but I took it out, like, the next day. 
because it kind of, it didn't get infected, but it was just puffy and it freaked me out because I was not, I was in California and I'm like, oh, I can't do this. So, yeah, and that was probably in July. And so in, um, in September on my birthday, I got this one pierced for a month and a half. And then my lip thingy fell off and I was like, screw it, because I was trying to, because I found it and trying to put it back in. But it was bleeding and I was like, ugh. Then I had my nose pierced for a year and a half when I was 18 to 19 or something. It was cool, but it was never healed, and so I just took it out. Because <laughs> I kept losing the whole thing. Now, and then I got this in March, and this has been my pal. It's never hurt besides getting it pierced and a, no infection, so happy. And I'm getting a tattoo tomorrow. I am so nervous. It's like... I just feel like it's unreal, like I'm actually going to get a tattoo and it's going to stay on forever. It's kind of weird. <laughs> very, very weird. It, feel, it just feels weird. <laughs> I've never had a tattoo and I've heard that the foot's like the worst of it all, so I'm like, great. But hey, at least if I can go through the worst of it all, then I can do the rest easily. I can be all tatted up if I wanted to. But probably won't. But I'm getting a tattoo on my foot that says Walk by Faith. Uh, I've, ha I've wanted it since I was 17 and I'm really, really excited because I finally get to be cool. No, I'm kidding about being cool. But it just has a lot of... It's very, like, meaningful to me because Walk by Faith, like, I'm a Christian and so I believe in God and stuff. And so walking in faith for Jesus because sometimes it's, you don't know what's coming up. Or what's in front of you sometimes, but you just walk in faith with God. And so that's what the tattoo means, is like, no matter where the path I'm walking to, I'm going to put my faith in Jesus. So whatever happens, good or bad, that it's all good and I can trust in God. And so that's what it means to me, and I hope you guys won't be like, Jesus is terrible, whatever, because it's my opinions, it's my choosing of what I want to believe in, and I hope you guys will believe it. But, I don't know, <laughs> but that's like my thing and I've wanted it forever. So, I thought I would let you know so when I do show you guys, maybe tomorrow or a few days after all the pain or bruising or whatever, that you guys will see it and you're like, oh that's so cool. I'll be like, oh I'll walk my face, what does that mean? Ugh. But that's what the tattoo means to me. I hope you guys will love it when I show it to you. I'm excited. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. And that's my update. <laughs> Talk to you guys soon.